forward. The children would like to come forward. Let's have a bit of time together. Hi, Joey. Nice to see you all. I'm going to get down lower. Here we go. I'm even going to try to sit cross-legged. <laughs> so, good to see you all. Busy time of year, hey? Yeah. Lots of Christmas concerts and things going on. Yeah. yeah? Do you all have one? Yeah. yeah. So this year during Advent, um, the adults are talking about Mary. And Mary, of course, you know, is Jesus' mom, right? Yeah. And in the Bible, we only hear Mary speak four times. And in this morning scripture, she's is one of the times, and she's talking to her cousin Elizabeth about how wonderful her God is. And, and she's talking about how, how she adores God and, and how God um, is important in her life. And it's her story. It comes from her own heart. And it's really an important story for us to hear. And so later on, Michael's going to be talking about that with the adults. But I wanted to find something um, similar, the similar kind of story that I could tell you. And so I found this book. Actually, my friend Bonnie um, provided this book for me. And it's called The Song Within My Heart. And it comes from First Nations tradition. It actually won the Governor General's Literary Award. So it's a really important book, I think. And so I'm going to tell you. It's the story. The, the, the person that's talking is a young boy. And he's talking about what's important to him. So see if you can hear who he's talking to. Listen to the beating drum. It tells a hundred stories of our people, of our homeland, some of birds and beasts and sweet grass. Close your eyes and listen. You might come to hear a story that no one hears but you alone, a story of your very own. Listen to the singers. They are also telling stories. We hear our singers tell stories all the time, right? Some of pleasure, some of sorrow, some of birth or life after. Close your eyes and listen. You might come to hear a story that no one hears but you alone, another of your very own. When at first I heard them, I was standing near my nookum. I was standing staring at my elder, who was lost somewhere deep in thought. When I first heard them, I was standing with my nookum, who smiled and began swaying, closed her eyes and started singing. Not loud at first, a simple hum, I tugged with force on both of her arms. Grandma, I called to her, I don't know what they're saying. She couldn't or she didn't hear, yet I was loud and she was near. Grandma yelled out again, please tell me what they are saying. She smiled as she looked down at me and taught me how to hear and see. Child, she said, there are some things that you can call your very own, not toys or clothes, not jewels or cars. Don't ever make those things your own. There aren't a lot, but there are things that you could learn to call your own. Your stories, your songs, your beating heart are truly yours and yours alone. And right there at the powwow, the scorching sun echoed the drums. The dancers would soon to come. Yes, child, she said, there are some things that you can call your very own. Your stories, your songs, your beating heart are truly yours and yours alone. A story is a sacred thing that should be passed from age to youth. I choose to share my best with you that you might own and share them too. I never use another's tale unless he knows and he approves, and only then and then alone might you tell it to others. And much the same, the beating drum, it echoes that which is your soul. You seek a rhyme that is true of all the secrets that are you. So much of what the drummer feels is clear with every beat you hear. It bears it all. It cannot hide. They're sharing what's inside. And of the things in my own life that I have owned, there are none so dear as the songs I sing and the stories I tell. 
all the tales that you should know by now. To understand the song I sing, close your eyes and listen, and try to hear the subtle things. It is your Nokum's heart that sings. If you, dear reader, hear me sing and can't make out my message, you shouldn't fret. As I was like you, I had to learn to listen to, to understand the song I sing. Close your eyes and listen and try to hear the subtle things. It's of my Nokum that I sing. So this young man's talking about how important his grandma is to him and also how important it is that each of us, adults and children, are true to our own heart. And, that's, and God wants that for us. God wants us to be true to our own heart and to tell our stories and to talk from ourselves. And so let's remember that during Christmas, eh? When there's so many other things to, to distract us, let's remember that our stories, the things that are important to us, are what's really important. Thank you for coming up this morning.